Hey guys, it's your girl Design is Me. Welcome back to Design is Me Daily, where we design our own clothes, we design our own business, and we design our own lives. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this two-piece reversible bandeau swimset. So you are going to need two pieces of fabric for this swimsuit, guys. Uh, because it is reversible, I just used one print and one solid. You are gonna need a pair of underwear. Pick one that fits you well, or at least uh, the type of cut that you want your underwear to be, because we are going to use that as the pattern for this set all right so i'm just taking one piece of that fabric i'm folding it like so and then i'm gonna line my underwear up with the folded edge so the crotch of the underwear should be hitting the folded edge all right i did leave a little bit of space um from that fold just because i want a little bit of a higher cut for the underwear this underwear is relatively low and it is a seamless underwear so it lays nice and flat which is good all right, so I'm just going to trace that around, making sure to leave a half inch allowance around the entire thing. And that half inch allowance is because obviously it is double lined, so we need, we need some allowance. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to cut that out. Now guys, you can use pins uh, for this process just to secure your fabric so that it doesn't shift uh, because spandex does have a tendency to be a little bit, you know, slippery. Alright, so I am just going to cut my bandeau top now. And all I did was measure the circumference of my boobs, which is 33 inches. I know I am a little bit flat chested, guys. Alright, and then you divide that by two. Alright, and I made sure to take off one inch because this is a stretchy fabric. You can take off more if you want, depending on how stretchy your fabric is, but one inch was enough. Alright, I'm gonna cut because uh, the top part of my. Uh, top <laughs> is the back and front I am going to cut this part in two so that we have one piece for the front and one piece for the back all right so now that uh, now that we have those pieces cut out what I'm gonna do is grab my black fabric and we're gonna cut this exact same thing out of the black So we should have two bottom pieces, one print, one black, and we should have four top pieces, two prints, and two blacks. Okay, so let's just take that to the machine. And the first thing I'm going to do is construct the bottoms. We are going to lay front side facing front side, and we are just going to stitch along the entire curve. You guys could stretch as you stitch if you want but i don't really stretch that much because i don't know this this machine just does wonders for everything i make <laughs> so there's not a lot of effort that you know needs to go into certain things i just stitch and it's like a freaking magic wand <laughs> all right so now that that is done we are just going to do the same thing to the other side So, and once that is finished, we are going to flip this inside out. Now, depending on the type of fabric that you have, you may need to snip the curve just so that it lays nice and flat. But for this one, I didn't bother, like, it didn't. It didn't really pose much much of an issue so it was fine okay so now we're gonna close off our side seams and we're just gonna lay front sides facing front sides line up the colors as 
they should be and we're just going to close that off with a half inch stitch fantastic and of course we're just going to do the same thing to the other side great so now that that is done let's take a minute look at the underwear all right and we are going to now close off the top and this is the only see this is sorry this is the only stitch that is going to be seen on this underwear guys because this is a completely seamless underwear all right so we're just gonna fold in half inch half inch put our pins to secure and stitch all the way around and this is a quarter of an inch top stitch guys all right this part you could pull a little bit and I did pull a little bit uh, just so that it's not too too tight and the uh, threads doesn't burst or pop when I put it on all right now that that is done as you can see it is completely seamless there is no seam at the crotch and everything is nice and neat all right so let's move on to the top the first thing I'm gonna do is take one of our prints and one of our blacks we are gonna lay those front sides facing front sides and we are gonna stitch along the longest length And we are going to do the same thing to the other piece. Front side facing front sides. Stitch along the longest length. Half inch seam. Fantastic. Now we are going to take those two pieces, lay those right side facing right sides, and we are going to close off our side seams half inch stitch and the same thing to the other side fantastic all right so now that that is done let's just turn that out and as you can see it is completely seamless at this point all right so to close off the hem we are just gonna turn the hem in half inch on one side half inch on the other side put those together with our pins and we're gonna stitch one top stitch quarter of an inch to close that off nice and neat just like we did with our underwear Alright guys, so that is it. Super simple, super easy. This is how your two-piece bandeau set should currently be looking. We have a nice seamless top and a nice seamless bottoms. If you guys want to wear the print on one side, you can. If you want to wear the solid on one side, you can. It's like two swimsuits in one. So let's see how it looks. Alright guys, so that is it. Perfect for summer. Or perfect for just taking Instagram pictures <laughs> all right and I hope you guys enjoyed this so long tutorial all right if you guys want more videos like this do not forget to leave me a like leave me a comment in the comment section below subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one bye